welcome or welcome back to my channel. Is it midnight? No. Technically? Well, I guess that in some part of the world it is. But yeah, the truth is that we have this window here. So I am not able to show my books up if it's during the day or like if we have light because uh, the lighting would be shit and you wouldn't be able to see any of this. So we are going to pretend it's midnight. This is my bookshelf. I think you have seen it a bit here and there, but I've never shown it properly. So this is it, my precious bookshelf. I am not going to show this shelf because it's mostly books from when I was little, Wattpad books and manga. We will mostly focus on from here down there and I will have to change the camera a couple of times first of all I'm going to show you like the main features of my bookshelf from here to there to the end of this shelf that's my brother's gay corner as we call it it's books with LGBTQ representation or LGBTQ themes then from here to the end of the bookshelf that's my vampire corner there i have all my books about vampires because i mean i'm obsessed with vampires so it's only fair yeah i guess that's kind of it these two shelves are mostly english books and from here down there they have a bit of a mix but most of them are spanish books i i think i'm going to like take the books out and show you the book that will take a lot of time but i guess we have time right now so yeah on my brother's book corner, first of all, we have He Drives Me Crazy and I Kissed Sarah Wheeler. And there is the entire Heartstopper series, you know, from book one to all of them. And we usually put book one like this. And the little thing we have holding those books is this Heartstopper candle that I gift my brother a while ago with a Spotify playlist here. After that, there are these two books that are actually in Spanish. But this is the Spanish version of Red, White and Royal Blue. And this is a one with a new retelling, I think, but make it gay. By Iria Gerparente and Selena M. Pascual. I think this one is originally published in Spanish. And the last two books from my brother's corner, one of them was actually bought by him. But it appears to us, we don't own the first book of this duology, I think it is. So we haven't read it yet. And my policeman, because the hard styles. After all those LGBTQ books, we go to the part where it's mostly a romance, mostly English romance books that I bought because I have no self-control and I haven't read half of them. So yeah, bear with me. Where the crowd that sing, The Hating Aim and The Soulmate Equation. These two I usually keep together because they are from the same publishing house. And even though you can appreciate it with this lighting, the colors are kind of complementary in some way and I like how they look. Then there are all the Colin Hoover books I own. So there are uh, kind of a lot of them but this is Verity Without Married It Ends With Us November 9 All Your Perfects I'm thinking uh, Reminders of Him and Ugly Love and they, I keep all of them together here we have these two which are Beach Street and People We Need to Vacation by Emily Henry and I obviously keep them together because they are Emily Henry I wanted to buy book lovers but I actually haven't been able to do that because my library they only sell the British version and I already have the American version of the other two from Look Up With Love that I'm looking forward to reading during the winter I feel like it's such a winter read and yeah it will look good to read in winter along with you in the either but Olive if you like. I am on page 158 and if you ask me if I actually am going to finish this the answer will probably be no even though I was liking it but in the same way I wasn't understanding it and sometimes I like to be a spoon fed in that way like instead of having to think about it myself I completely bought because of the cover and because I heard it was enemies to lovers or rivals academic rivals to lovers and that's one of my favorite tropes that it's Ace of Spade by okay I'm not able to pronounce that but yeah Block by Katie Stewart I haven't read this one yet also but I want to because I haven't read any Katie Stewart book and this seems like a good choice that was the first solve and then we are going to go to the second one which is, which is mainly myself i want to say that i read more books in this one than in the previous one but that wouldn't be true this is the vampire diaries necklace that i bought years ago but that i still keep keychain that my brother bought for me in poland i actually don't know what the rock is but if you know Please tell me. I don't even know how to get this out of here. First of all, we have this humongous, massive 
box set of all the Fem Vampire Diaries books. Well, I don't know if they are all of them, but at least they are like the first 13 books. I am not going to get them out of here because that would be crazy of me. I mean, I guess now it makes sense for me to have the Vampire Diaries necklace, even I don't use it anymore. And we have the first two books on the Crave series. So we have Anello in Spanish and Furia in Spanish. But I think that in Spanish would be Crave and Fury. I will probably, if Sunday buy the rest of the series, I will probably buy the rest of them in Spanish. And there is this Tino by Maria Martinez. And this is a Spanish author. And the truth is that once I went to a book, like, the bookshop, and I saw the third book in the series and I wanted to read the third book but I guess I can't read the third book without reading the first two so I bought the first one and then I never got to it the last three books on the Twilight series I actually don't know the first one which is a pity but I do have the last three in Spanish so I guess I will buy the first one in Spanish but I'm looking for it in second hand bookshops and all that so yeah we have Luna Nueva, Eclipse and Amanecer the last book in my Vampire Corner is Vampire Academy the first book that I don't think has another title about apart from Vampire Academy but yeah the first book on the Vampire Academy series I actually want to read probably next month frostbite and i will probably buy it because it's like yes 10 euros it's one of these so yeah it looks good to buy <laughs> this video is starting to be a bit of a disaster because i've dropped a water bottle into my computer it's okay for now i think at this point in life i am going to keep going so the rest of this shelf i was talking about is mostly fancy and Mm, a bit more random fantasy, not just like focused on something. First of all, there is Wolf Song. I bought that book for my brother a couple of years ago for Christmas. Serving the Dove and Blood and Honey. I want to read both of these books, but I haven't had the chance yet to read them. Shutter Me and Unravelly. If you haven't watched, I actually have a blog of me reading Shutter Me. No, this is a Roy Melly. Okay, I actually have a vlog of me reading Shutter Me. You should go check that out if you're interested. And then the other day I went to the bookstore and they had Unravel Me, Unravel Me, and I decided to buy it. So maybe it will, you will have a part two of that vlog. Six of Crows in Crooked Kingdom. Six of Crows is the book that I read in the 24 hour reading challenge. And Crooked Kingdom is the second book of that duology. I will probably read Crooked Kingdom sometime this year. I want to read it before 2022 ends, that's for sure, but I don't know when. The Starless Sea, hence I have a couple of shells in the bookshelf, but yeah, I have the Starless Sea. I haven't read this one yet. This book set I have hid for years, but this is the Hush Hush series in Spanish, and I actually read the first one, and I got around halfway or like three quarters through the second one, and I left it. I don't know if I should continue reading it. I actually hate the second book. Two that have, uh, I don't know, series in common, maybe? Well, they have in common that I haven't read them yet, but they are from the same publishing house, and they are both fun and that's why I keep them together. And these are This Violent Delights and This Hollow Bows by Chloe Gong and Lexi Ryan. And right now we have this next bookshelf that I don't think you can see pretty well. Actually, there is one thing that I'm not going to take out because it's a pain in the ass to put back there. But there I have my Harry Potter, well not mine, they're my brothers, but the entire Harry Potter box set has some kind of decoration, mostly they are put into a very specific way for it to look good, so I will skip that because it's a pain in the ass to put them back in there. The next books after those are Cinder Scarlet and Chris and this mini story of, I don't know, but these three are in Spanish, the three of them, and they are also my brothers. Then I have this one put in there as a decoration. This one is a music thing, like if you play, and I think I've had this since I was little, and I still keep it. It's a bit broken in some parts, and it, ha it, it doesn't have a lot of pieces. Then I have all my holy black books, this is the Cruel Prince trilogy and this is kind of a prequel storybook that they got out so I have all of them, these are all in Spanish this book that I don't know how the English name is pronounced but in Spanish is Sierra and we have it in Spanish my brother bought it and never actually got to it The Invisible Life of Adela Rue, you have already seen me try to read this Spanish version of 
Six of Crows, but with the hardcover and the black pages. I actually never read the book in this edition because I read it in English. Because I wanted it in English even though I had actually... I actually owned it in Spanish. I use this as decoration mostly. It's been discontinued. They just don't produce this edition in Spanish. So there is no way of me getting Crooked Kingdom bookstore. And behind this, I'm hiding three books. Wicked Kingdom in Spanish, Reino de Malditos. This is my brother's Sombre Hueso or some Bone Caraval, which in English is also Caraval, so that's great. I'm talking about books that I own in Spanish and I also own in English. We have La Novena Casa by Liberdo or Ninth House. I am actually like really thinking about buying this book in the English version and like buying both of them because I think this year the second one is published. And lastly, I have the last two books on the Infernal Devices series and the first Two books of, I don't know how this series is called, but it's Chain of Gold and Chain of Iron in Spanish, La Cadena de Oro and La Cadena de Hierro. And from, for the Infernal Devices, I have Principe Mecánico and Princesa Mecánica, which uh, I think it's Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. And please don't ask me why I do not own the first book in Spanish, because I, I don't know. Next part, we are going to change the angle, so um, I'm sorry if you do not enjoy having to move around much. I think this was a better angle all the way around, but anyway. so. At least right now you can see how I have my Harry Potter books here. I'm going to start from here because these are mostly English books. The Secret History usually goes here, but I'm leaving that, so this is not there. They are all out of order. Here we have A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, Good Girl, Bad Blood, and As Good As Dead, Survive the Night by Riley Sager, and If We Were Billions by ML Rio. Usually, as, as I said, after these two, we usually have A Secret History by Nana Tart. A Little Life by Hania and Agihara, Charlie Rooney's Normal People. And these two are the last books of this pile for now. The first one is Una Magia Más Oscura. I don't know how you say this title on English, so yeah, forgive me for that. And then we have a bunch of thrillers, so I'm going to name them and I'm going to show them, but I'm not going to go into them. La Desconocida, this is an English book, I don't know how it's called in English. El Infierno de Victoria Massey, this was in my what but recommendation book video. Chicas como nosotras, one of... Alguien está mintiendo y alguien tiene un secreto or one of us is lying and I don't know how this is translated. And after that I have this book that is actually from an Spanish author and it's Sitzing. I haven't read it, I think it's fantasy or like dark fantasy, I'm not really sure. Then there are my Taylor Jenkins read books. So we have Daisy Jones and the Six, this is the only one I already read. Seven Husbands of Aline Hewell, I have to read this, and Malibu Rising. Then we have these three which are from a Spanish author, it's Rebecca Stones. And we have Synergia by her, Timanti and Bocho. Then there is Aristotle and Dante, this Discover the Secret of the World or Aristoteles y Dante Descubren los Secretos del Universo I have this in Spanish Siete Mentiras which I totally bought for the cover because it's beautiful Vixen's Lead this is a reverse anime series this is the first one but after I bought the first one they changed all the covers so right now my book doesn't match with the rest of them and I don't want to buy the rest of the series if it's not going to match then I have my style students two Sarah J Maas books A Court of Thorns and Roses in Spanish You have Media Luna I don't know the title in English and lastly we have a Ruby Kaur box set with milk and honey and the sun and her flowers and a small teeny tiny little book about mermaids so this is my bottom shelf but Actually, in this shelf there are some of my favorite books, so yeah, let's get into that. First of all, we have here the entire Marmalade Boy manga. I read the first one in my reading in Spanish blog and the second one, I think, too. And right now I already own all of them. Then these two are my brothers. This is XOXO and this is Fangirl. Then there is this book that this was mine. This was one of the first in each books I read after reading my childhood books when I was little. And this is Everything Everything or Todo Todo in Spanish. This is a Spanish Wattpad book and this is 69 Segundos para Conquistarte. I think it's about an elevator, but I'm not really sure. It's my brother's too. Then there is the selection series. So we have La Selección, La Elite, La Elegida. All the boys I loved before series, we have the first and the second book, Todo Este Tiempo, which is by the same author of Dos Metros de Ti in Spanish. I don't really remember the title in English. Then there is this book that I also think is a Wattpad book. It's also my brother's. I can 
Dr. Little, de, de Hakakurtology. El chico que dibujaba constelaciones. This is also by Alice Kellan. Here we have my classic style. The Tempest by William Shakespeare. Lauderhouse 5 by Kurt Vonnegut. Mother in Hate. A Tale of Two Cities. La Metamorphosis or The Metamorphosis. I don't know how it's in English, but La Metamorphosis by Franz Kafka. 1984 by George Orwell. Eugenia Grandet by Honoré de Balzac. Cleaners by James Joyce. La Voirie by Gustave Flaubert. Fuentes Imprescindibles by Edgar Allan Poe. And now the last part of this video is my favorite books. So these are not all my favorite books. There are a couple that I don't own. First one is The Deal by El Kennedy. I actually have read the entire series of the, the entire Off Campus and the entire Barra U series. And there are a couple more books that I actually love too. But the thing is that I have this big edition from when it was independently published. And right now I think they are calling this with Bloom Books. So it's like different. Then I have Kiss the Sky and Hot House Flower with the new covers because they are beautiful. And if you haven't watched many of my videos, you will not know that I love Connor Cobalt, I love Kiss the Sky. And I want to own Feel the Fire in Long Way Down too, but I don't know when that's going to happen. Then I have Welcome to the Dark Side. This is by Jenna Darling. I also love Inked in Lies, but I haven't had a chance to buy it. Then I have these two Madeline Miller books. These are not actually there because they are my favorite because I haven't actually read Cersei. And I like The Son of Achilles. I have a blog on this, but I didn't love it. It was a solid four stars, but anyway. I have them there because I love the aesthetics of it. This is actually one of my favorite books and I'm embarrassed of it. Yeah, so we have Pack Darling. Yeah, you can laugh, you can laugh. But this book, I love this book. I It made me smile. And then we have Punk 57. This is the only Penelope Douglas book that I liked and I actually loved. This was one of the first books that I read in English and I love it. So anyway, this is my chaotic bookshelf tour. I hope that this, uh, if I ever do an update on this video, things aren't going to be falling everywhere. That's, that's the only thing I ask for. I also have to start looking for my earrings that have fallen everywhere. But anyway, so... I hope you like this video. If you like it, you may consider subscribing because for you it's not much and for me it will make my day. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!